on, guys? My name is John from Original Gamers. Today's pretty special day for me. Um, uh, if you guys didn't know, if you don't follow me on Twitter, you uh, wouldn't know that I was building a PC. If you did follow me on Twitter, you would know I'm building a PC. And finally, all the parts are here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over a basic rundown of the hardware I have. And I'm going to go ahead and put it in my case. And... Uh, I'll boot it up and show you guys once it's running, and I'll have this all in one video, so you guys won't have to like watch two separate videos. Anyways, UPS just got here, um, and I'm I'm pumped. Uh, so starting off, we have the CPU, which is the AMD FX 8320 Black Edition. It is a eight core processor. That's eight real cores, no bullshit hyper threading. But uh, it's clocked in at 3.5 gigahertz stock. I'm looking to overclock maybe about 4.0. But that comes a little, at, ugh, at a later time. Um, this is my CPU cooler. It, it is the uh, Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo. Uh, some very good reviews on it, and uh, hopefully it'll do me good. Um, for my motherboard, I have the ASUS M5A97 LER 2.0. Pretty long name, but pretty good reviews on that too. And for the graphics card, this is the heart of my build, the beastly Gigabyte Radeon R9270X with 4 gigabytes of GDDR5 memory. And that 4 gigabytes is definitely going to help me rendering and playing games as well, so I'm going to be able to bring you guys a lot of good content. And for the standard hard drive, we have a Seagate Barracuda 1TB drive. Um, that's just for my files and stuff and gameplays, and hopefully that'll suffice. Now... Also here we have an SSD, it's a 120 gigabyte PNY XLR8. Uh, pretty good reviews on this as well. This is for uh, the OS, which I have Windows 7 ready to be loaded onto it. And uh, that's also going to hold a couple programs maybe, so major fast uh, loading time. So that's going to be awesome. I also have just a wireless card, sorry about the glare from the light, but it's just a wireless card since my router is not in my room unfortunately, it's like uh, across the house a little bit, so I don't really want to run an ethernet cable all the way through my room, so I just got that, uh, hopefully that'll do me good. For the power supply, I have the Corsair CX Series Semi-Modular, I, I believe it's Semi-Modular, uh, the CX600M, 600 watts, it'll power all this. Um, and more, so if I ever want to upgrade to maybe a Crossfire in the future, maybe some bigger, beefier hardware, just add some more stuff in there, this will definitely uh, prepare me for that. For that. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, I'm going to cut right now and show you guys the case. It is in my room with the mouse and keyboard I have bought, and uh, I'll be right back. I forgot to add is I do have 16 gigabytes of Crucial Ballistic Sport RAM. Uh, it comes in at 1600 megahertz, megahertz excuse me, uh, DDR3 RAM, pretty good reviews on this, uh, this ran me about $140, so about as much as that processor did, but hopefully this will give me good performance for years to come. Alright guys, I am in my extremely crowded room here, full of boxes and crap. Um, this is my case, it is the Enermax Ostrog GT, uh, I think it's like ECA 320, uh, a, I think, I don't know the exact name, but very, very nice looking case. It does have a side window. I have the plastic on it, that's why it looks a bit scratchy right now. Um, has two USB 3.0, let me focus this. Two USB 3.0, your mic and your headphones. Uh, two USB 2.0, your power switch, your light switch, and your reset switch. Lights for the two 140 millimeter intake fans on the front of this case, as well as a um, exhaust fan. I believe it's either 140 or 120 back there. Very nice, comes with three case fans, I really like it. Now for the mouse, I have the Zalman M400 gaming mouse. Um, this was like $15 on sale. Uh, I didn't really want to put too much money into the mouse and keyboard, but this, I have not used it yet, but it does feel really nice, um, especially on this mouse pad, which is a just a black Belkin mouse pad I picked up for about two bucks. Uh, for the keyboard, I have uh, the ASIO Levitron L70. Um, again, this was like a $20 keyboard. Um, it was on sale for about $30 or $40. Uh, this does have LEDs in it, rather. Um... Pretty good reviews on this from those that I've read. There were not a lot, but uh, there were some good ones. So hopefully this will do me good and just a basic keyboard that I need. Again, there's my Blue Snowball. I'm pretty sure you guys know all this equipment. My Asus VH238H monitor. Um, yeah, I have a... Actually, i got to get back on my bed. 
I have a very small desk, so as you guys can see, this is taking up a lot of desk space. Basically, all of it. And it's out of focus. Alright, I gotta focus back. <laughs> now, I actually have my Xbox on the floor now, because, uh, this, uh, no Xbox, no Comprende. Alright, well, video's almost five minutes now, so I'm gonna cut, and I'm not gonna come back till I build this freaking beast, and, uh, I'll be back. What's going on guys? It's John from Original Gamers. Um, it's the next day from when I started building this. Nine hours. So much work. So much experimentation. But I finally got it up and running. My beast of a computer. I'm gonna just run through the specs real quick again for you guys. Um, everything's bloated on my screen because I haven't installed any drivers but I'm working on that after I clean out the giant mess out on the kitchen table. But through this window, you can't exactly see because it's a tented window. But um, I'm actually not going to go over the specs. If you guys want to see the specs, you can either rewind the video a little bit if you didn't catch it the first time. Or you can just look in the description. A full list of specs and a link to my build will be down there. Um, but yeah, I'm extremely satisfied so far. This thing is lightning fast. I can't wait to get playing some games and editing some videos for you guys. And these blue fans on the front are just so sick looking. And I love it. Oh my god, this case is definitely, it's like $64, $65 or $55, um, right about now, um, it comes with three case fans, two in the front, one in the back, um, it's definitely, definitely an awesome case, you get two USB 3.0s, but I don't have the 3.0s working on the front because I don't have a header on my motherboard, uh, you have your mic and headphone, you have your two USB 2.0, and you have your LED button, you can switch them on and off which is really cool. Uh, you have your power button and you have your reset button. I'm never going to touch that, hopefully. But uh, yeah, that's about it for this video, guys. Uh, thanks for watch <laughs> Thanks for watching. Um, and thanks for supporting. I mean, I w probably wouldn't have built this if it wasn't for my motivation to, to do YouTube. So, in a sense, I do thank you guys uh, for this, for my motivation. But uh, thing really quickly, guys, uh, this is basically in no way a budget computer. Um, if you guys are looking to buy a budget computer, this probably isn't the build for you because this cost me close to a thousand dollars. I am in debt a little bit with my mom, but uh, um, hopefully this will serve its purpose throughout uh, the years. Again, in no way is it a budget PC. It cost me almost a thousand dollars and I still have to do rebates if I can do them correctly because those rebate companies always wanted to do it a specific way, but anyways, yep, that's it. That's all, I really don't want to take up any more time for you guys. Um, again, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, leave a comment down below. Um, hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already, that'd make my day. <laughs> Alright, I'm John from Original Gamers, and I will see you guys next time.